Hey guys, Joey G here, and uh, we're going over the Matrix E today. I'm going to show you guys how to set up the Matrix E with the video system here. Uh, the Futaba 14SG. This has a HDMI converter, it's for the Next, it has the Next 5 on it. This is actually the remote shutter. This is the, the uh, location of it. We yeah, have our zoom lens that. that actually goes into the back of the quad where the Bluetooth controller is mounted. This is our HDMI cable going to the side of the camera here for a video output. And we have a new Amway 1000 uh, 5.8. That's a 1000 milliwatt 5.8 system. This is the battery for the zoom. Uh, one thing you guys want to be careful is, is you, you don't want to leave this plugged in. Uh, try not to forget it because uh, people kill these batteries all the time. It's just a two cell battery. Uh, and you can put a bigger two cell on it. This also has the extended gear and the new T-motor pops. So the first step is uh, we're going to make sure the arms are locked in position. We have them tightened all the way around at both the pivot point and the thumb screw. Use a wrench uh, to tighten these arms. Make sure they don't move at all. And we went all the way around here. And now we're going to make sure we're going to turn our radio on. Make sure our throttle's down. We're going to make sure all the switches are up and away. And the zoom will be in the center and also the shutter switch will be in the center. Um, you're going to take a picture, you're going to go up and back. And to start or stop video, you'll go up and, or down and back to start it, and then down and back again to stop it. I put the gimbal tilt on the slider on the right here. So our video system's already powered up, so the next thing we'll make sure, this is our fail safe here, and we'll make sure it's off, pointing towards the ground. We're gonna be in GPS mode, and now we're just gonna make sure that uh, everything looks good, everything looks good on the quad, so we're gonna power it up. Okay guys, I wanted to give you a little tip for uh, putting the battery on the bottom. It makes it a lot easier to do it this way. Just come up with an empty box, uh, something pretty good size. And then you can just turn your matrix upside down and make sure the props aren't in the way. And you can set it on the box like so. And the arms are actually keeping it up. And now the battery placement, I'm at about a half inch back, uh, three quarters of an inch back from the bottom ESCs. And we're right here in the back. So that's where the battery is. It's the best location. This are our new 8000s that we're selling for uh, $199. So if you guys haven't uh, ordered one of them yet, they're really good batteries. Uh, good discharge rate. So this is uh, just a little trick for putting it upside down. Okay, we're ready to go fly it now. So we'll bring it back. Okay, here we are. Got everything set up. We want to make sure our gimbal is just it's not quite 90 degrees. We want to make sure it's pretty level. Just the best you can get it. Um, it's going to be balanced pretty close with that camera on there. We'll make sure we're not getting any wires in the way of the props here. Our radio's on. Everything's ready to go. Our video monitor's on. And we'll plug her in. Okay, the first thing we want to do, in this case, we want to plug in the zoom battery. We're going to turn the camera on. And we'll plug in the zoom battery now. And we'll plug in the flight battery. Okay. So we'll check, make sure we got all our satellites, and we'll take it for a quick flight. I know this is hard to see in the sun, but we do have our video information all up on the screen there. There's our flight modes, which we want to be in GPS. There we go. A little windy out, but it's okay. This thing can handle the wind. So we'll record. Make sure our props are spinning in the right direction and we're looking good.
and you can see how smooth it flies. So I'm holding the camera and the radio. You run it about five or six feet up so you can get out of the prop wash. All right, that went really good. So there it is, guys, the Matrix E. This one's fully loaded. Next five extended legs. It's got the zoom control, shutter control on the camera. It's got all the toys on it. Let me know if you guys have any questions with this or any other Matrix model, and I'll be sure to answer them right away. Paul, this one's going to you in Rhode Island. Thanks for watching.